Hey, hey, here with Easy Jeezy. It's a beautiful March day, and we're waiting on parts, so I thought I would make a video about installing a quick shifter. These are very inexpensive. They can make a dramatic uh, improvement in your shifting if you like to have your throw a little closer. And this is the device that we're going to be putting in. Yeah, these things have been around for as long as I can remember, and they work pretty good too. Now, this is also also a urethane shift coupler. This goes between the transmission and your shift rod, where it goes in. Now, there's a catch here, and I I think I think I've got some wear on it. And a lot of guys complain. They think it's a expensive problem with their transmission. And it's a pain can be a pain in the ass problem in your uh, shifting setup here, so we're gonna go over that Okay, I got my two screws out and I should have put my nitro gloves on <laughs> before I start this because this has been known to be one nasty Job and this is typically what you're gonna see a greasy grimy mess and this is part of a maintenance sale that you are supposed to lubricate this every once in a while. And these have changed over the years. They have different models. They have them with pins in them and without. There is a little spring-loaded ball bearing on the ball in this thing. And uh, I ain't going to touch it to show you. And I'll set it off to the side. Now you've got your, your shift plate. Now a lot of guys get this thing in wrong. The long side goes on the passenger and the short side goes on the drivers. If you just remember that, you'll be okay. And I got a fun spot to set that. Now you got this greasy grimy thing here. And I definitely am going to get my uh, <laughs> nitro gloves on. I'm going to disconnect the coupler on the further back on the tunnel by the transmission because we're going to replace that anyhow. And I'm going to manipulate this around and I'm going to get a small flashlight. This this bushing, this plastic bushing is just out of sight and it goes through a hole in the tunnel. I've seen these things where they were just hanging on the shaft and not there for so long and people shifted it anyhow that it oblonged the uh, the hole where you can't even get the plastic one to stay in place anymore and they do make a little uh, matter of fact I know I've got one around here someplace a little bracket that you can drop in there and it too is a pain in the ass but sometimes you have to do things to uh, make it right there's the plastic bushing and it's sitting in a uh, in a spot and there's a little bit of play and I gotta think that it's got some wear on it. Plus you can see what's left of an old bushing right here. The spring is around it and the old bushing is there. I'd like to get that off but the front of the Baja doesn't have the inspection plate through the body like a standard sedan. There's fiberglass Here's in the way. Repair plate and this is the the nylon bushing in question and it's got a uh, spring to capture it on the rod. You need to lubricate all that up inside the tunnel there. These are ancient. There's the there's a spare spring and this is a repair plate that the plastic fits in. I'm not going to use it. I think I had bought this for a sand rail or dune buggy project. Never used it. Okay, I got my shift rod forward and I'm looking at the hole here and it is round sometimes when these things uh, the plastic's been missing so far that you'll actually get a uh, it'll start getting out of round and that's what the uh, repair plate is for to uh, substitute for that and here's the old one I think the snap ring or whatever you want to call it capture ring this thing doesn't look entirely bad but I think it was a good thing that we got in here. We'll get it cleaned up and I think we'll put a new one in. This is pretty soft. The uh, lubricant seems to sometimes attack some of this plastic nylon. I'm slowly, one piece at a time, converting this car over to a Chinese Volkswagen. I didn't know if you were aware of that. It's taken me a long time. 
So I am going to take this piece of plastic, nylon, I'm going to put it in the hole, and there's still a snap ring. I haven't decided whether to what I'm going to do here with this spiral clamp. I think I'll put it on and set it in place, and then uh, see if I can get the rod started. It's uh, a little bit of a puzzle. It can challenge your patience, but it's definitely worth doing. And if you're having any kind of shifting issues, uh, you definitely want to look into this. All right, what I've done is I just collapsed this, and I've put this capture spring right there, and the first that kind of holds it tight on your shift shaft. It's kind of fun to say shift shaft, shift shaft, shift shaft. <laughs> then this groove is what goes into there inside the tunnel and what you'll need to do is collapse this down then get it to expand and then reach down there with a pair of channel locks or something uh, a wire whatever you can come up with that's the challenging part working through that little hole and get it get the shift rod to start going in there and just inch it along um, the front of the car there's an inspection plate and because this is a Baja I can't get it out, but I was able to get it stuck far enough over here where I could get it forward, and that's what counts. As long as you can get it to drop in the tunnel, you'll be all right. Here's a piece of the old plastic. So this has been done once before. Here's one it got cut in half, so that's kind of gives you an idea of what happens. Well, I'm not sure where I left off yesterday. I ran out of daylight and I made a few changes as always seems to happen. But uh, the urethane shift coupler by MP, the rubber part on the original shifter, I don't know if you can see the sloppiness in that, the metal part on that old German one if you look at the the wedge this looks similar but that piece of the shifter shaft that comes out of the tunnel didn't quite fit in there I didn't want to grind it down I was hungry and not feeling like doing a good job and the more I looked at this piece the more I started finding little critical faults it didn't fit over the shaft as nice. The grub screws didn't interchange. This is probably a quality part and it'll probably work just fine. And we used to use these out on our sand cars. And in the end what I did, since the German parts still worked and fit, all I did was replace the urethane center because I know it can, I can trust it and it's past the test of time so I'm not saying this is a bad park I'm just saying that it was interchangeable and I got the results I wanted to by doing that now I wanted to use the short throw shifter kit which is another thing we used to use on our sand cars but uh, I ran out of daylight like I was saying and I I wanted to use the car first thing in the morning so I just threw the old one in there and I did notice a huge difference in the shifting of this thing the car is not running right now so it's it's not shifting that smooth but it sure feels tight I also replaced the plastic bushing that's down in the tunnel that was a bear and that chewed up most of my time it's definitely a lot easier if you have two people to somebody to move that shaft in there and with the Baja I had a fiberglass uh, problem in the front I didn't want to disassemble body parts just to do that but I did get it far enough forward to put in the new plastic bushing between the coupler in the back and that bushing it made a huge improvement now what I want to do is shorten the throw so I don't know how I can simulate this let's just I'm gonna try to do this from the the same angle so, okay, let's look at the door over there. From the edge of the cup holder, we're looking at the door frame. And then we're going 
back this way. So that's the distance that we're going to shorten. Was with another MP product. And it's a spacer plate. Raises it up. Boy, if that is aluminum, it almost feels like plastic. And this piece feels like nothing as well. There's your old pop cans for sure. So the way you do this is you take off your shift knob. This slides all the way down. Then you're going to take your shift plate. This is all in the car. This is spare stuff here. And that's going to go on the bottom. That's going to go on the top. The spring's going to go in there like so. And then it's all going to be captured by this. And then you're going to have to have longer bolts to, uh, this can't go down because of the concrete, but it'll go down into that socket in the tunnel. And then you're going to capture it. You want to use, reuse your washers from your, your other one. And here's a, here's the nylon bushing that was in the car. And it was still in its entirety, but I think it was worn to the point where it's a good thing that I replaced it. At least I have the peace of mind of knowing it. And I've had a bunch of these shifters before. Here's a bunch of pieces. A lot of times if you go to the uh, go to a flea market, you'll find this stuff sitting around. Here's another one uh, right here that I had picked up, but the little ball was missing. And here was another one that I had. Uh, oh, here it is right here. Here's the ball on that one. So again, I had this one came apart. It fits down on this one, but it should fit a little. It should go down snug on there, and this one didn't. And so I thought, just for the sake of this video, and since I had the parts, I'd just go ahead and do it, do it right, and show you what we're doing. So let's get the one out of the car and put this one in, just like I described it. This part goes to the front of the car, the long side goes on the passenger side, and it kind of curves up. I found a plate in the Baja when I first got it that did not have the little ramp on the left side, so consequently, and it doesn't look like it was cut off, it looks like it was just missing, and I don't know what model or what year Volkswagen this came from. But anything's possible. You always see changes, and I'm not that much of an expert on every year that was ever made. So I'm just showing you what I have experience with. So clean your stuff up, put a light coating of grease on it, and then we'll put it in and adjust it, and I'll show you how we adjust it. Sorry about the mess. This ain't no show car. All right, so for sake of demonstration, all we've do, done is loosen the two bolts that go into the top of the tunnel and we're just going to lift it straight out and everything should come with it. I'm just going to set it aside here and there's the the plate. You can just leave that plate right where it is. If you have carpet or something this has got a recessed bottom so you want it to sit around the the plate Don't want anything getting in the way because that's got to sit in that reset si section. This has got to be flat and that plate's got to be captured. Okay, the plate is sitting at the bottom on the tunnel. This fits real good inside the recess section. Now, the ball that comes in the kit goes down and it touches that one. If it doesn't fit, you may have to file, clean, do whatever modification to make it sit. Now, the spring goes clear to the bottom and goes around that plate. It goes around, the spring goes around these and pushes up underneath that. So, that has not changed. Now we're taking the lock washers that were on our other 8 millimeter bolts. We're going to put them on the new one. You got to make sure you have to push down 
collapse that spring and then start your bolts make sure your holes everything's lined up keep pushing down be sure and use block washers now those urethane, that urethane coupler on the back can transmit a little bit of vibration. You may notice some noise. You may have noise in yours right now. Okay, so we, get, we look at it. I want to just barely snug it down. Just kind of take the play out of it. Okay, now I'm going to leave it up. I'm going to check that carpet all the way around. I hate these cheap carpet kits. It was in the car. It's all glued, so I'm not tearing it out, and I'm not worried about what it looks like. Okay, so everything's in place. Now, how do you adjust your shifter? I make sure that the car is in neutral. There's first, second, and it's moving side to side. So when you find that neutral gate, now you can move this. There's the slots in here. These are adjusting slots, okay? So I want my shifter straight up and down. Don't worry about where it comes out on the slots. And you've made changes. So I just want that straight up and down and to be able to move back and forth. And then I'm going to do my first tightening. Snug her down, good. Don't have to get carried away. Don't have to prove how strong you are. You don't want to strip those threads in the tunnel. But you don't want these to come loose either while you're driving. That's why you're using the lock washer. third, there's third, there's fourth. I don't know if you can notice the difference. Now some people don't like it because it's it's too touchy for them. And then reverse would be over to the side and then it pops up out of reverse. And you need to keep this piece of junk aluminum. The, the factory used a uh, the steel dome and they also, on some of them, had a little piece of uh, nylon going over that because people wouldn't lubricate this and it would keep it freer moving longer, I guess. So, let's put a shift knob on it and take it for a spin. Another way of getting a shorter throw is to shorten the shaft. But these are crazy threads. They doesn't. I don't know what type of metric thread that is. It fits in your in your shift knobs. But uh, don't cut it off close. If you want to shorten this thing, you're probably going to have to cut it twice. You would cut it once and then cut out an inch and put it down, tack it. Decide if that's whether you like it or not. There are different shifters for different years. The Carmen Ghia had a one that came back at an angle, and it needed a. Uh, a special ball, but we're talking about just a 69 VW sedan here, so keep that in mind. Hindsight's 2020. I should have measured it with a tape measure, but okay, here's the seat and the door frame, and I did move that seat back on the driver's side, so this probably is worth it, but there's first and there's second. It's definitely a shorter throw, but I can't tell you by how much. Now, this is an opposition, a $15 quick shifter, but if you go with this quick shifter, you better make sure that bushing in the tunnel is tight, and you better make sure that your coupler in the back is is just as good as, you, as it can be. Alright, we'll make the trip worthwhile. I gotta pay my uh, sewer bill. So we'll just go for a little drive here. You guys like driving. We'll go for a little drive. Oh yeah, this thing's a lot shorter. 
how are we going to show this? Let's see. That's first. It feels so nice and tight. See, it's real hard for me to drive this car. There you go. That's second. My background came from off-roading and uh, the sand dunes. And we wanted our horsepower in a different area. We wanted our horsepower down low. Whereas the drag racers, they want it everywhere. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Shifting good. Feels good. So there's not much point to driving around in one gear. And I don't have somebody else to watch to film the shifter and I gotta pay attention to what I'm doing. So anyhow, that little shifter, all three things have to come together to work as a system. A solid coupler in good condition at the transmission, a tight bushing in the tunnel, then you can use the quick shifter and it should work just fine. If you try to put the quick shifter in and everything else and you, you were having problems before, it's just going to make it worse. And some guys talk about their cars not shifting right, not shifting, uh, jumping out of gear and stuff. You need to check all those components to make sure they're working properly because it can have an effect if you're not getting the transmission all the way in gear you're just giving it an opportunity to pop out and if it does that over long periods of time you may not be able to save it without going inside the tranny so anyhow hope you enjoyed the vid hope I can piece this mess together thanks for watching thanks for subbing easy jeezy out Oh yeah, shift so good. You just have to push it. You don't have to like, hardly even, it closes up the neutral gate as well. All right, bye.